fit bit wrist rash. What causes it? How can you make it go away? And I will tell you how I got rid of mine. And I, this is now my second Fitbit. I had a Fitbit Charge 4 for a year, and now I have the Versa 2 or 3. I think it's Versa 3. Versa 3. Let's go. Okay, after seeing those two pictures, I wanted to tackle my problem right away with getting my Fitbit wrist rash. Um, step one, clean your watch. Take your watch off and actually clean. Use some sort of a wipe, something. Clean the inside. Uh, some people don't. They just take their watch off when they shower or leave it on. Everyone goes back and forth with a Fitbit because you want that constant data rolling in. But take your watch off clean it, maybe a disinfectant wipe, or soap and water, just water, anything is better than nothing. That's step one. Step two, uh, get a breathable wristband, because then sweat has more chances to evaporate out, move in and out. It's, that was, to me, that was the biggest improvement step, was getting the sweat to uh, have somewhere to go. Uh, for my Fitbit wrist rash, wrist rash issue. So now for another tip for me, um, I got my Fitbit during the COVID lockdown and the gyms were closed. So I did not have a big opportunity really to use the sauna like I used to always do. So the high heat and the constant extra sweating, my wrist was not happy. Um, I also had the old Fitbit band so it did not breathe very well and the sweat collected more I mean I washed it but so from what I've heard like sauna use because well, I'll take this off again your Fitbit um, the Charge 4 and the, what I have now the Versa 3 they have uh, these charge ports those four pins are my charge ports it is not a wireless charging I'm feeling that little hole right there if it was wireless charging, it would be fully encased. And if it was fully encased, there'd be zero chance of battery acid to leak in and out. So it's not exactly a closed system. Same thing with the Charge 4 that I had forever. From what I've heard, um, going into a sauna or a hot pool, the constant hot, cold, hot, cold expansion, uh, the battery casing, you have a small chance of leaking battery acid. Also, I wore my watch on the top. I don't wear it on the inside. And my wrist rash, where my wrist relaxes, would form mainly towards the bottom. So where gravity would naturally have taken any battery acid that had come out of the watch. So that's not fun. Um, yeah, sorry for the use of um. Next. Uh, this, I, th I believe the second biggest thing that I did to improve my Fitbit wrist rash issue was when I go to bed, like I, I work, I naturally wear my watch on my left wrist. That's just, that's me. That's habit, watch on my left wrist. When I sleep to give this wrist at least eight, nine, ten hours of rest, when I take a shower and then I get ready to go to bed, I put my watch on my right wrist. It's not a day of activity. I can sleep with it on the wrist I'm not used to. So that will give one wrist a ton of rest. Switch wrists while sleeping. And then when you wake up, and even if you forget to switch as soon as you wake up and get dressed, I mean, you'll feel it. It'll get annoying. But then you get to work and you start doing your activity, you'll switch wrists. So switch to your primary wrist in the daytime and sleep with it on the other wrist. And then you're still getting your constant data, your sleep data, your activity, your heart rate, the reasons you got a Fitbit in the first place. So those, to me, were the biggest two, was switch wrist while sleeping and get a breathable wristband. I hope this information has been helpful. If it was, I would greatly appreciate it if you could give me a like, subscribe, or comment, or click through to this next video. Here's how I fixed my uh, exercise bike. All right, guys, have a good one.